Fog. Clarity. Passion. Heart. Redwoods. Ah, red one. History. Sunshine. Fruit. That's one. Soils. Personality. Diversity. Diversity. Growing. Diversity. Authenticity. Authenticity. Did I get three words in there? Diversity. This is really hard to like narrow it down. Vibrancy. People. People. Fog. It's the best. Surprise and delight. Surprise and delight. Welcome to the Sonoma County Barrel Auction. So our auction lot is um, in honor of Joe Rocchioli, who passed away in 2022. So it's 2022 vintage Rocchioli special selection. So it contains some fruit from the Rocchioli River Block and another block um, that is owned and farmed by the Rocchioli family. Because of what happened, because we, we lost him last year, I knew immediately that I wanted to um, honor him for our auction lot. And we're also doing a collaborative lot with William Selliam and Rocchioli. Um, and that's a bigger, ours is a five case, collab is a 20 case lot. Um, so that one is called The Legend, that's number 56, and ours is number 30. And ours is also in honor of our 40th anniversary, which was in 2022. So it's both. We we lost Joe in August of 2022, and 2022 is our 40th anniversary at Gary Farrell Winery. And we've been buying grapes from Rocchioli since 1982. So it's honoring not only our anniversary, but our relationship with Rocchioli and Joe himself. Go to www.garyfarrellwinery.com. It was darn good seeing you again. Thank you. And, and you as well, Ray. Let's stay in touch. We will. I promise. Excellent. Thanks for having me. I run our hospitality and events program. I'm really excited today. Perfect weather. It's a little bit cooler, so we can keep our wines really nice. Uh, we got a lot of cool trade accounts here, and Tom and I are happy to be here. Uh, our auction lot is called McCare. It's from a new vineyard that we've started working with in Annapolis from the West Sonoma Coast. It's part of West Sonoma Coast, a new AVA that just passed recently. Um, so Annapolis is really kind of a little bit farther north in Sonoma. Uh, cool Cooler climate, a little bit higher elevation that we're getting Pinot from. It's the Dumal Macaire 2022 Pinot Noir from Annapolis. Um, it's really bright and, you know, 2021 is a vintage. It was a kind of a cooler year, so the acidity retention was there. You have that nice acid, but it also being in Annapolis and being a drought year has thick skin, so you get a little bit more tannin. So you really just dial up the structure on both acid and tannin, making a really ageable Pinot Noir. Our website is dumal.com, D-U-M-O-L.com. Doing great. Lovely to be here. We're pouring uh, Cabernet Sauvignon 2021. It's a barrel fermented Cabernet. Uh, a little bit unusual. I take the heads, I pop the heads, I put the berries in, I close the heads. And I do the fermentation by rolling the barrels. There's no pump overs, no punch downs. Gives a different elegance to the wine, a different texture. I do all my winemaking this way. More time intensive, uh, more expensive, slower, but it's worth it for making high-end wine. Uh, Hands-on since 2011. MonroyWines.com, M-O-N-R-O-Y-W-I-N-E-S.com. Yeah, today's a great day. It's a little overcast, but, you know, it's uh, we'll take it. We have a wine called Three Piece Pinot Noir. So it's Davis Bynum, Three Piece Pinot Noir. It came from three different vineyards. Notably, it's mostly Swan clone from this vineyard called Oak Wild. It's right in the heart of the Santa Rosa Plain, and it just kind of has this deeper, kind of purplish fruit character. It's a little vinous, a little plummy. Um, soft, soft belly. So with that softness, we use the second component with some Old Wenty clone grown on a hillside vineyard that gets a screaming high acidity. So those two married up, uh, just kind of counterbalanced each other. And it also added kind of this exotic twist to the, the aromatics. There's kind of a red apple, but pomegranate and like a, a floral tone in that wine. And then the third piece was clone 667, just a classic Dijon clone, a lot of fruit, soft, supple wine. It came from the Green Valley area. www.davisbynum.com. Good seeing you, man. Good Thank you. you. Good to see you, Ray. I, I always joke that I came for the Pinot and I stayed for the Chardonnay. <laughs> yeah, so we're doing a 35th anniversary cuvee. We've got a new vineyard in uh, Russian River Valley that has a Masal selection parcel. So this is eight clones that are all harvested together. And we've, we've kind of, you know, as a reference to California Chardonnay, we've got some aromatic selections in there similar to what we do with our Dutton Ranch project. So in this case, it's an estate vineyard and it's a new project. This is a, a first blend. So uh, we won't actually make this wine as a single vineyard yet. Uh, uh, this is a once one-off sort of project. I've done about 10 or 11 now with James total. Well, you know, it's funny. I, I, in years past, we found uh, interesting parts of our Pinot projects, mostly in Russian River, because we have so many single vineyard projects for Pinot here. But this being uh, 35th anniversary, Chardonnay is what brought us to the party when we started. So it felt like it made sense to come around and do a Chardonnay for, for this auction lot, as opposed to, you know, 
another interesting restaurant for Pino, which there's probably plenty of. Patshall.com. So P-A-T-Z-H-A-L-L.com. Our owner, Tom Klein, is going to get the Lifetime Achievement Award this year. And so we made a wine called Triple Play to honor his career in baseball and his family's passion for the sport. So it's a blend of our th three single vineyard Cabernets, Rockaway Brothers and Alexander's Crown, uh, all from the new French oak barrels, uh, blended to really showcase the beauty of Alexander Valley, which is where we call home. Uh, and then Brothers is one of our single vineyards uh, from the Alexander Valley, part of our triple play blend that we decided to showcase sort of the rejuvenation and revolution that we're going through at Rodney Strong with our shifting in farming philosophy and winemaking philosophy, which starts the process with the 2018 vintage, which is what we have to show. Very grateful for the opportunities that the Klein family has provided for both me and my family to enjoy uh, doing what I love and being in this community. RodneyStrong.com. Check us out. Nice to meet you. It's nice to, you know, be here and pour our auction wine today. Well, our auction lot today is called Rocky Road. Um, it's just a melody of different single vineyards that we work with all over Sonoma Coast. So we do have some Gaps Crown in the blend. Um, we also have included our estate Pinot Noir, which is being organically farmed for the last three years. Um, just working on the final certification there. And then we also have a small um, single vineyard Pinot Noir called Bush Crispo in the blend as well. Well, they all uh, contain gravel soils, so Rocky Road, just kind of play on words there. www.ramsgatewinery.com. Excellent. Rachel, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Thank you. Thank you. Brooks Note is a combination of Gary Brooks and Joanne Note. They're uh, husband and wife and owners of the winery. We primarily make Pinot Noir, but we dabble in a little bit of everything. So our auction lot is a collaboration with 37 <laughs> wines, which uh, they own Paradise Vineyard. Where they're partners with uh, some of the wines that we produce. And so Shane Finley is their winemaker. He used to be the winemaker at Costa Brown. And uh, he actually used to work with Gary Brooks, our owner and winemaker at Costa Brown, who was the enologist there back in the day. So what we have is uh, um, Clone 115 for both lots, uh, one from Paradise Vineyard, which is 37 wineries uh, um, vineyard, and then the other 50% uh, comes from a vineyard called Taylor's Crown, which is Petaluma Gap, kind of northeastern end heading up towards Santa Rosa. And so um, two Clone 115s, different sites, different winemakers. BrooksNoteWines.com. Okay, nice to meet you. So BHE Wines was founded in 2008. We're Sonoma County focused Pinot Noirs, and the name really came from our founders. They couldn't figure out the name, and it was a last minute decision. They're around a table, and somebody's dog was barking, and they're like, "Get your dog there! Shut up!" He's barking like a banshee, and and that was that. So really, I prefer that because the lore character isn't so sexy in terms of selling wines. We don't want to have that banshee death call. We want you to enjoy wine, especially our Pinot Noir. So auction lot. We're Banshee Auction Lot number three, Wind and Fog is the name of it. This year it's a single vineyard coming from our Los Carneros region in Sonoma County. This is Champlin Creek Vineyard. It comes from three uh, three different blocks and has four different clones. I did a barrel select of this lot with 17% new French oak, 20% once used. We married, so we made the blend this week. It's in tank and they're actually sending it back to those same barrels today. Ooh. Well, usually what I do when I'm deciding on the auction auction lot is that I am picking through all my lots and I'm, I'm trying to go for one of the best lots that I have and I'm picking through the very specific barrels that will marry together to get that fruit forward but still have that acidity from our Sonoma Coast ABA so the, really I want to have that balance of fruit acidity and spice that Pinot Noir gives us our website is BansheeWines.com you can definitely find all of our wines there you can make tasting room appointments for our tasting room here located in the hill Plaza, and uh, you can also buy wines. Barca is Latin for berry, so we're part of Hall family of wines. Hall is the married name of Catherine and Craig Hall, and Walt, which is our Pinot Noir line, is the maiden name of Catherine. And so her daughter, Jennifer, is the one who created the label, but we couldn't think of a last name to put, so she thought, oh, Latin for berry, Baca. 
the Baca label is all Zinfandel expressions from Ducey Vineyard in Paso Robles, from Howe Mountain, from Anderson Valley, from right here in Dry Creek, from Rockpile AVA, St. Helena, uh, you name it. We, we are pulling some of the best vineyards to do Zinfandel expression. The auction lot is going to be a 2022 Murfay Vineyard, which is Old Vine Russian River Zinfandel. www.bacawines.com. Thank you. So crescere is a Latin word that means to grow. It's the same root as crescent or crescendo. Uh, the word still exists in French, Italian, Spanish, and different pronunciations. So however you say it, it's fine with us as long as you're enjoying the wine. So this year we are putting together our red blend. Every year we give our winemaker, Philippe Melka, Mayan Pashitsky, Adata and Melka, the ability to make a blend from our property in the Alexander Valley. It's always based on Bordeaux varietals and Syrah because that is what we grow. Every vintage is different. This year is 56 cab, 25% Merlot, 11% Syrah, 8% Petit Verdot. That'll be released in 2024. So we're just getting it out here. This is a single barrel from this blend. CrescereWines.com, that is C-R-E-S-C-E-R-E Wines.com. Such a pleasure, thank you very much. Uh, this is my second tour of duty at Gloria Ferrer. I was there for 15 years back in the prior century, and uh, I've, been, I've been nearly two years back. So this is our 2019 and 22 Rouge. The, 2000, the base wine is our sparkling Brut Rosé 2019, aged three years on Tourage, and recently disgorged. The dosage is 2022 Carneros Pinot Noir from our L block, and uh, that's what provides the tannin and some of the pigment for this wine. It's really fun. It's a fresh, fresh wine with a lot of cherry and cranberry, very juicy nose. We finished it as extra brut, six grams, so it's on the dry side. Allows you to taste the, the bones, as it were, some of the tannins there in the dosage. But it's, it's a fun thing we did to support Sonoma County Wineries Association. GloriaFerrer.com. That was the easiest part. <laughs> Great, so happy to be here at the SoCo Barrel Auction. So we're pouring our estate property from Freestone that we call Tilton Hill. It's a beautiful property, 12-acre vineyard, uh, sits uh, southeastern facing slope, just on the ridge line to the east of the town of uh, Freestone. Really cold coastal site. They sort of call it the Bodega Headlands area. Usually ripens well into September, sometimes October. Beautiful site for making bright, crisp, uh, vibrant Pinot Noir. So we've been around for 18 years, um, and we farm 70 acres on three sites, either sustainably or organically. We're a small family-owned winery. We make about six or 7,000 cases a year. www.bonoviawinery.com, and uh, we're open for tasting seven days a week at our winery facility just uh, between Santa Rosa and Sebastopol. You know, we have had a lot of rain lately, and the vines are finally waking up. It's a, it's a little bit of a late year for uh, bud break. Uh, my dad was a home wine maker, so actually from the time I was 10 years old, I helped him to make his home wines, and that was when Patrick Campbell, the original winemaker for Laurel Glen, was teaching my dad how to be a home winemaker. He was training him, and came full circle when after years of working at other wineries in Sonoma, Napa, and Chile, I was hired to be the second winemaker ever for Laurel Glen Vineyard. Well, we have a very unique lot, never done before, never going to be seen again, where it's 50% Cabernet Sauvignon from our estate vineyard on Sonoma Mountain, 50% from Fisher's Estate Vineyard on the Mayacamas Mountains. Two well-known Cabernet vineyards for many, many years, historic Cabernet Sauvignon vineyards. We've never blended our wines together ever. And, and so this time, our auction lot, which is five cases of 50% uh, Fisher, 50% Laurel Glen Vineyard, laurelglen.com. Who would have guessed? Cheers. Head high.
in particular, which is the label that I'm here with today, um, we are 15,000 cases. Head High has been around for 10 years. Price Family Vineyards in the States has been around for 20. So it is called the Zintastic Auction Lot, and it is of our, um, our future 2022 Zinfandel. Uh, produced by Britt Richards, uh, and she's a female winemaker uh, that uses uh, all Sonoma County fruit and uh, sourced by our uh, director of uh, vineyards, and he and Britt work together to put together a really, really fantastic wine that's um, really light in tannins and is just drinking beautifully, even in the 22 right now. We are ahead at highwines.com. And we actually have a new um, tasting room in South Napa in Carneros. So our focus uh, from the beginning has been Chardonnay and Pinot Noir. Uh, cool climate, so running down the California coastline all the way from Sonoma County, primarily Russian River, Green Valley, all the way down to Santa Rita Hills. Um, focusing on Chardonnay and Pinot, but now we're focused on what we have a Blanc de Blanc, which we have here. Um, that's our, from our Running Creek Estate Vineyard. So we're doing sparkling Method Champenois, we're doing Rosé, we're doing Gruner Veltliner, we're doing Syrah. So a lot of fun uh, different wines that we're adding to our portfolio because of the tasting room and that exposure and just having variety for people to taste when they come visit us. We do have our Estate Vineyard Running Creek that we're featuring at the auction uh, for, for today and tomorrow. Um, it's about 90 acres. It's 70 acres of Pinot Noir, 20 acres of Chardonnay, um, multiple clones. Um, and so our auction lot that we have here is three separate clones, all hand harvested, uh, obviously small lot production. We're doing about 10 cases. Um, it's a really unique profile. It's mostly dry, a dry farm vineyard in the heart of Russian River. So it adds a lot of concentration, a lot of intensity, a lot of breadth on the palate, um, and just makes it, makes it really unique and really vintage specific year to year um, because we are depending on the natural rain. So this year is actually going to be a pretty decent year for us. There's a lot of natural irrigation happening, which is great. Um, but yeah, it, 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 it varies from year to year, so it's a lot of fun. Our website is uh, www.migrationwines.com or you can follow us um, through a link on our Duckhorn uh, Vineyards uh, page as well. We're uh, here at McMurray Ranch uh, for the ninth annual barrel auction, so it's really exciting uh, that this program has grown and developed and uh, draws now an international audience. We, uh, we have several people that have returned that we know are serious bidders, but a, a large uh, contingent, quite a few people that are new, uh, a few people that are brand new to the auction, including some uh, international guests, including Norway and Korea, so it's really exciting to see uh, actually an international draw to our community here in, in Sonoma County. Oh yeah, just go to SonomaWine.com and there's a whole whole list, a whole array of information by appellation, by winery, uh, events that we have coming up. We host about five major events this year, auction format. Uh, Taste of Sonoma is uh, June 24th. That's our next big event after this. So you can click on that and there's more information than you can digest uh, at one time. So uh, come back and visit the website and us here in Sonoma. Pop them and, uh, and let's pour. Briefly, I want to talk about you. You guys have got a lot going on. You've acquired Costa Brown, among other things. How long ago was that? That was in 2018, and in 2017, we acquired Calera, which is, um, I mean, both are pioneering California Pinot Noir-focused wineries, and uh, they've, made an, they've made an incredible uh, impact on, on us and, and the world of wine in general. So it's been, a, it's been an incredible privilege to, to work with both those wineries. What is your official title these days? Mm, it's uh, uh, General Manager, Vice President of Costa Brown, Canvasback, and Gold. Uh, our, our Washington State Winery Canvasback and our Anderson Valley based Pinot Noir focused winery up in uh Anderson Valley, which you know well because you worked there back in the uh, famous 2011 vintage. But we have an amazing staff of people, both on the grower relations side, uh, vineyard management, and of course, um, you know, our amazing winemakers. Uh, Julian Hausepian is our winemaker at uh, Costa Brown. Uh, Kristen McMahon is our GoldenEye winemaker. And Brian Rudine uh, is our longtime winemaker up at Canvasback, making the incredible wines uh, uh, from Red Mountain and uh, Walla Walla Valley. Great. And what wines are represented here today at the auction? We've got uh, Dana and Monica, the winemaker and assistant for uh, Migration, which is really exciting. And then myself and uh, my friend Noshin Khan are representing uh, Costa Brown. So we have two really exciting auction lots, and we're here to uh, do our part to support the amazing work that 
uh, Sonoma County Vintners does to support and promote um, the incredible wine community of, of Sonoma County. Uh, www.duckhorn.com and you can uh, find, you can get access to all of our different portfolios of, uh, our portfolio of wines um, from Costa Brown, Paradox, uh, uh, Canvas Back, GoldenEye, Postmark, Duckhorn, all the wineries that we represent um, are there and uh, we invite you to take a look. Uh, the Gallo family has a rich history, especially here in Sonoma County. The Gallo brothers, Ernest and Julio, uh, founded Ian J. Gallo Winery in 1933, but have actually been sourcing grapes from Sonoma County since 1934 at Fry Ranch. They uh, had family that was in the table grape business, but knew they could. This was a good time to try their hands at winemaking. I started as a winemaking intern with Gallo, ended up doing chain sales with them, and now I am a wine ambassador. WW www.ejgallo.com. So the barrel auction, this is the ninth auction for the Sonoma County um, Vintners. Uh, I've been able to participate in each of these, uh, some with uh, my clients, and this I believe is the third time with Bob Cabral Wines. This is a special auction lot for me because uh, the winemaker at Joseph Phelps Freestone, Justin Ennis and I, worked 10 harvests together. One at Hartford Court when I was the winemaker there in 1997. Justin went down to South America, uh, came back, and was looking for a, another job. Uh, I had taken the position of winemaker and uh, general manager at William Selyam here on West Side Road, and so I offered him a harvest job. Uh, nine years later, uh, he was offered the assistant winemaker job at Joseph Phelps Freestone, so we were able to do 10 vintages together, and, and I really cherish that. So it's a 50-50 blend of vineyards from out on the Sonoma coast. Uh, most of my vineyards are up in the Annapolis area, north, uh, northwest Sonoma County. And of course, Joseph Phelps Freestone is in the Freestone Occidental area. Uh, the name of our lot is a decade of winemaking and a lifetime of friendship. How the lot came about, we were at a concert at the Fillmore in San Francisco in November. And we were uh, watching uh, Tom Petty's old guitarist, uh, Mike Campbell, and his new band. And uh, we just started talking about how it would be fun to make wine together again. And that's when the auction, the barrel auction subject came up. And uh, it took us a couple months to get everybody to clear it. Uh, Joseph Phelps Freestone is owned by LVMH, and they were purchased last year. And so once we got the go-ahead, we spent hours cherry-picking barrels, clones, uh, different oaks so that we could put this special lot together. It's www.bobcabralwines, that's B-O-B-C-A-B-R-A-L wines.com. We have a, a really nice auction lot. It's, it's Zinfandel, if you can imagine that, that uh, Segezio would make a Zinfandel for an auction. Uh, we have a Zinfandel from our home ranch. It's in a specific lot that's grown uh, near the river, at, uh, near the Russian River in Alexander Valley. And what we love about it is that it's it's in this sandy soil, alluvial soils, uh, down by the water. And um, and to make it extra special, we aged this wine in a, in a large cask, so about 35 hectoliter cask. And what that does is it captures our favorite part about this wine, which is the, the floral essences of Zinfandel and the really bright fruit. It captures that and it really maintains it throughout the aging time because a little bit less oxygen um, and it just keeps that fresh all the way to bottling. So it's gonna be a component uh, eventually in our home ranch Zen that, that captures the, the whole ranch, but we like to feature this one a little bit uh, separately for this for this auction. www.segesio.com That's S-E-G-H-E-S-I-O Thank you very much.